There's any number of things I think the Russians could do. Is yes, the slew of fake news. Yes, the element of, of embarrassment. We could also see another example, for example, which we saw with Not Petya or WannaCry, which were, you know, attempts to actually um, disable some of our large commercial entities. So there is any number of things that, that are in the capabilities of the Russians to be able to de deploy against us. How advanced or skilled are the Russians in this area? Well, I mean, I think the Russians are, you know, are, along with four or five other nations, probably one of the leading countries in this kind of capability. In this kind of capability, they invest a huge amount of effort into it, and we've already seen, for example, them sort of playing around with the critical national infrastructure, the electricity supply in Ukraine, to develop their capabilities there. So they're quite a formidable, formidable adversary. But from a general public point of view, when you think of one of the things you mentioned, from a general public point of view, it's not really very much the general public can do because it's not the Russians, the, the general public that the Russians are after. But one of the key things um, is always worth mentioning is that actually the major impact of cyber attack, as we saw with WannaCry, is not just the technical effects, but it is the public reaction and the media reaction into a confused environment which can create disproportionate public reaction and itself start causing disability of public services. And we must be aware of that too. You mentioned fake news or propaganda. You're absolutely right. You may be aware the Pentagon is reporting a 2,000% increase in the number of Russian trolls spreading Kremlin propaganda in the hours after the airstrike Saturday morning, our time. What sort of disinformation, misinformation might they be spreading? Well, I mean, I think there are any number of things. Uh, certainly, they'll be spreading misinformation around, uh, around Russians' various role in, for example, you know, continue around the Salisbury uh, effect and the nature of their support to the Assad regime. They will be looking for information on key American individuals that they can exaggerate, proliferate across social media and create embarrassment for um, individuals concerned. And that just creates a massive distraction when those kind of things get reported in the in the media and take attention away from the key from the from the, the, the key threat and issues.